First letter, the swordsman. Thomas was a traveling swordsman, skilled at slaying dragons. Since twenty and seven years of age, every other year he has slain a winged serpent with his mighty sword, his mythical shield, and his loyal steed. He was by now turning fifty, and eleven dragons he has killed. With each new one more terrible than the last, he acquired a multitude of scars that disfigured him. But nonetheless, it made him stout and much sought after for his skills. For he was also good in eight other things: in riding, in swimming, in diving, in climbing, wrestling, fencing, long jumping, and playing the tambourine. And so it did not matter if he was hard on the eyes; many coveted his skills, and a great many more wanted to own him and control him. They would praise him with accolades in hopes of playing him to do their will. But Thomas was not swayed by gold and silver or prestige. From a very early age, all he wanted was just to keep out the winged serpents. Out of the garden, away from the children, and clear from the skies. But people were relentless in wanting to employ him for their own gain. So he let the temptations lure him in, and have at their little games. Only at the very last moment, he would resist. This made him a great deal of enemies, visible and invisible, to him.